Hello and welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. Today we're going to do the 1907 Moors. So we start by doing a front wheel over here and then measure one, two more wheels and we'll draw a back wheel behind like that. And then there needs to be a chassis sitting on top of those just slightly higher than the centres. A pair of lines like that. And just sticking out there and a slight curve at the front. Now at this halfway point, if you just go slightly further back than that, give yourself a little vertical. And then if we divide this space here up into half again with another vertical, and another vertical this side of the line, but slightly with a smaller distance than this one. And one last one at the front here, halfway between the center of the wheel and the back of the wheel. And then the top edge of the car is going to be half a wheel up. So if we go, here's half a wheel, add another half a wheel and go horizontal or a tiny slope would be good. good. Goes up to a, a lip. Then there's a box for the driver to sit in. So halfway up this edge, do another horizontal, which stops when it reaches the center of the wheel. Slight slope on it. And then kind of tombstone behind, which is the petrol tank. The front of the car needs a nice curve on it rather than the corner. And uh, and then the underside of the car, the lowest point is underneath this line here. So halfway between the ground and the chassis. That's the lowest point. And there's a bulge coming down to meet it. And then a straight line tapering off back there. And that's your basic car proportions done. So we can't go too far wrong now. Um, so we can start putting in the details. So those would be things like a steering wheel and the, cha the chain drive, There's another wheel there, a little lever in front of that for the brakes, I think, and the seats. And of course the radiator, which is quite unusual in this car. It sits behind the engine and on top of the cow like this. There's one box there and there's another box lower down, the water tanks. And then a series of pipes with cooling fins on them beneath, joining them. And they have rivets and things in them and a pipe on top. And a pipe sticking out the front. Now we're at the engine part, so we need to finish our cowl off. So there's another another cutout like this. So this part's actually hollow, and that's where the engine sits. And the engine's a V8 out of an aeroplane, a Curtis. So we've got four cylinders to fit in with the exposed rockers, valve gear, and air intake, and an exhaust underneath. So it's quite a lot to squeeze in, so long as it looks kind of technical and complicated, it should be right. And then that pipe from the water tank, you can see that sticking out underneath. So we could put our ground in now to stop it looking a bit like a cutout and show the wheels on the far side, maybe add a bit of shadow underneath. And some grass. And underneath the car, there's a great big mouth with huge sharp teeth. And that's kind of all the main stuff. All that remains now is to put things like the rivets that hold the whole thing together. And little scuffs and scratches because it's a well used car. Oh, there's it. So, kind of cut out in the nose there, which is quite fun. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you again soon for another one.